Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today I'm gonna to share with you our October morning basket. And if you can't tell by this picture, it is full of all things spooky. So let's get started. So for my son who absolutely loves scary things, I decided that October we were gonna abandon our chapter books and we were gonna do spooky stories because he is 11 and he is just like me. I grew up watching all kinds of scary movies and he's the exact same way. He loves scary stories and so I thought how perfect would October be to just to have a time at Morning Basket where we read all the scary stuff. So I'm gonna show you the scary books that we have found. I do not remember where I got this book, but this um, is called Monsters, Zombies, Vampires, and More. And it'll have like the original story of Frankenstein but told like in a kid-friendly way. And then it has like creating the creature who Mary Shelley was the story behind Frankenstein. And it goes through a bunch of different monsters. And um, it's just a really neat book. So we'll be reading, he can just pick something from there and we'll read some of this each day. Then this was in my um, homeschool I went to a homeschool convention and I picked this up from an Osborne um, rep and she had real life mysteries. Can you explain the unexplained? And this is really neat because he loves things like this. He's very interested in um, Bigfoot. He's very interested in UFOs. And so this has some really neat stuff. You can learn about ghosts. You can learn about Bigfoot. All kinds of things. So we'll read through this also. Again, he'll just, you know, we're not gonna read all these from start to finish. It will just be like a pick and choose kind of a thing. The next thing we have are these. Now, I know if you were born in like the 80s or 90s, I know that you read these books because I read these books. I remember getting them from the Scholastic Book Club order form and I loved it. This was actually my husband's book and then we bought my son this copy. But we love these stories, and they're super short if you've never looked in them. They're short, and so you could read two or three in a morning. Either way, it would work, and I think they're pretty, you know, they're kid appropriate. They're not going to scare him too much, which he doesn't care. He loves all things scary, but um, these are great books to have also. The next thing I have is The Monsterologist, a memoir and rhyme. So what I liked about this book was it comes with poetry. He's not really big into poetry, but I thought maybe if it was about monsters, he would enjoy it. And um, what I really liked about it were these old stamps with the different um, old monsters on it. So this just has like, this is called Werewolf Warning and it's in a poem. And the Gollum. And there's just all kinds of little um, scary poems for your kids. I think I picked this up at um, second turtles used. Okay, another thing we have is this monster survival guide. It's from Scholastic. And in it, you're just going to see, uh, here's the Yeti. So it covers everything Yeti and how to survive a Himalayan blizzard, rules for surviving snow-covered mountains, how to make a Yeti footprint. So this is really fun because it does have some activities in it. So if we read some of these and we want to recreate these activities, we can certainly do that. Or we could just read whichever one he wants to do. So this is a really neat book to have. Another book we have is called Beware. And I got it at McKay's, which is a used bookstore. What I really liked about it is this book is um, a con it's just a, a bunch of stories that are R.L. Stein's favorite stories. And so it's from other people. It's his stories he picked out from other people. So... Um, there's the one that he did write, like the surprise guest is his, but all these others are written by someone else and they're his favorite scary stories. So I thought that was really neat. And it, this book doesn't have the cover because we got it used, but it's called Beware and it's by R.L. Stein. And so it does have like the spider webs on the page, but no other pictures. And then I picked up this book at Ollie's. I paid $1.99 for it. It's called Really Grim's Doodle Diaries, and the reason why I got it is because my son, when I'm reading, he can get distracted pretty easily, but if his hands are busy, his comprehension and his attention go up so much. And so I have usually have blocks and things for him to play with or something, you know, um, Lego pieces, something that he can play with. Um, but I also picked this up because I thought he could draw, and 
This has really neat stuff. He's already done one page, I'm sorry. But it has, um, you know, you list your favorite Grimm stories. This is about playing hangman. I mean, there's all kinds of little art things to do. This is his wanted, dead, or alive. You can make a paper chain, which would be really neat for our Halloween decorations because we always throw a Halloween party every year. So it just has all kinds of little things that he can do while I'm busy. Now for writing, because I do like to have a writing project during our morning basket. This is something we actually started. Um, maybe at the end of August and then we quit and we went to something else for a little bit. But I just took a file folder and um, fixed it like a lap book. And so this is going to be our scary story project. He doesn't enjoy drawings, so don't judge his drawings, but he did it for me. We're going to put movie posters. Anytime he comes up with a new story that he's created, he can create a movie poster for it. So I just made him some little rectangles. He draws the movie poster and we add it to the front. Then on the inside, he can um, design some spooky t-shirts. And then we were going to talk about, um, as we watch scary movies, because I do plan on watching scary movies every day during October, we're going to talk about the kind of characters we notice in scary movies, the settings in scary movies, what makes them creepy, what would be a good setting for a scary movie, and then some possible movie titles if he wrote his own. And then he can add whatever he wants to to this. So... Another thing that I have is I'm going to set these out on the table when he, um, when it is October. I have a few things that he can play with. And so these caskets are from the Dollar Tree, and I usually buy them like two new ones a year. At this point, we have a ton of them because, like I said, we have a Halloween party. So he's got these here that he can play in. They open up, and you can put stuff in them. Then this was called like a tube full of monsters or a bucket full of monsters. It's like Godzilla and the Mothman and I think a mummy, a zombie. There's all kinds of monsters, but he can play with those while I read. And then these are the Universal monsters. We love those old scary movies, and we love going to Universal and eating at the cafe. But these are really neat. You can pick these up too. So he can play with those while I'm reading as well. Okay, something else I did is I um, went on Pinterest. I always go there and type in like Halloween activities or Halloween fun. And they, they sent me to education.com. It had a ton of, if you go to education.com and you type in Halloween, there are a ton of printables. And so I just picked a few. And I'm going to show you what I picked. And so um, we're going to try this haunted house logic problem. There was a couple of those, but I picked that one. I also, from um, there, I got the fill in the zombie story because I think Mad Libs are an excellent way to review those grammar, um, just to hit on that grammar. So like adjectives, nouns, past tense verbs, it's just a good way to review grammar. And then um, I also print out, these are from different places. This I found on Pinterest, I don't remember where I got it from, but Halloween word searches, and there were a ton of those on education.com as well, but you can also get some in other places. This one was, oh, it's from Learn, Create, Love. So he can do those while I'm reading or just for fun. And then I have another Mad Lib from Sister Suitcase Printables. Um, so I plan on going back and printing some more. I just ran out of time yesterday when I was looking for these things. But these are fun to have in there that he can work on while we're reading or for us just to have that time together. Another thing I thought would be fun because he loves to play tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to use this with the Target erasers. You can get the mini Halloween erasers. And I was a teacher previously, so I have plenty of those Halloween erasers. This was from skiptomyloo.org. It's called Tic Tac Boo. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to play in the mornings. And then the last thing I'm going to have out for him are these precious little Target blank books. He loves the blank books because he's one to create his own books sometime. And if you go to Target right now, or at any holiday, you're going to find holiday-themed books. And so I picked up the Scary House, and I like it because it is just plain white paper. And so I'm hoping that as we're reading these scary stories, that he will get inspiration for his own scary stories. And he can write them in here. And I'm also going to give him some story prompts some days, where that I start the story and he finishes it. Or we can actually just write it together, whichever he chooses. So anyway, that's our October morning basket. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. 
Please like and share and subscribe and let other people know about our October morning basket. Thank you so much for watching.